Hi, and welcome to Knife Chats. Today we're going to be talking about the muskrat, a traditional pattern knife. Today I'm going to be talking about the muskrat. This is a, a traditional pattern knife that dates from the uh, late 1800s, early 1900s. I'm not exactly sure when. And it was used primarily by fur trappers. It's a really interesting history to it. Um, and it got its name because fur trappers basically used it for skinning muskrats, so it became a muskrat knife. Um, obviously, it was also used for skinning other animals similar to muskrats, such as minks, skunks, and beavers. But uh, for some reason, they settled on the muskrat for the name. In any case, uh, the knife has uh, two blades, one opening on either end, and the uh, standard tends to be approximately three and seven eighths inches or sometimes four inches so right around that area around four inches long um, the primary blade you find on it is a california clip blade which is very popular among uh, people who uh, have to process uh, animals it's uh it's a really good skinning blade it works really well and if uh, you know me i i love uh, toothpicks and that same blade is found on uh, the toothpicks um, and and it really is uh, just a really handy blade. I mean the toothpick was originally a bird and trout knife so you have the uh, muskrat using uh, the same blade for skinning muskrats. For a secondary blade the muskrat knife has another California clip blade and the reason for that is when the, the trappers would go out they would be uh they would collect all their animals uh you know clean all the traps out and uh, uh bring the animals back and at the end of the day they would have to take the fur off of all of them i mean that's why they were fur trapping and so they would break out their knives and uh start taking all the fur off and when this blade got dull they could just close it open the other blade and continue on otherwise they would have had to have stopped and uh, sharpened their knife so that's why the muskrat has two identical blades all you have to do is turn the knife around and start skinning some more uh, and that's really the story of the muskrat now early on muskrat knives had just one blade, uh, one back spring. Now this is just a pen knife. I don't have enough uh, muskrats to show you everything. Now with a pen blade like this or a pen knife like this, you have a long blade and a short blade. And operating these two blades off of one spring is not a major problem. However, if you had two long blades, you would have a lot more stress put on the back spring which was the case with the muskrat knife. You had two very long blades operating off of one spring and uh, doing a lot of work every night. So these back springs would wear out, the blades would get loose, the spring would break, and it was a problem. So a guy by the name of S. Stanley Hawbaker, who was a very famous trapper, wrote several books on it, came up with what was known as the improved muskrat. And here we see, the, this is an old trade from, uh, I believe, the 1940s or so. And you see improved muskrat on the, uh, on the handle here. And what it is, is obviously you see a uh, California clip and a second California clip. But instead of one back spring, you have each blade working on its own spring with a spacer in between. And by doing this, you add a lot of strength to the back spring and you uh, add a lot of more durability to the, uh, to the uh, blade. So it's going to last a lot longer because each blade is working off of its own spring. And by putting a full spacer in between there, it's basically like you put two knives right next to each other and it's nice and solid. You do it, you use it the same way, but now the knife is a little bit thicker, but it's a much stronger pattern than the original muskrats that only had one back spring. So this became so popular that almost every uh, 
muskrat you find today will have two back springs. So this was uh, the original improved muskrat uh, designed by S. Stanley Hawbaker. Now later, Hawbaker came out with another knife which uh, has the California clip blade, the same uh, spacer in between the two blades, but he came out with a, a, a secondary blade which was a sheep foot blade or sometimes a Warncliffe blade. And this became known as the Hawbaker Special. It is often also these days just referred to as an improved muskrat. Um, but truly I believe this is the Hawbaker Special and the improved muskrat, also uh, a Hawbaker design, is sometimes also called a Hawbaker Special today. I think uh, that's mainly because uh, there's a lot of confusion around what an improved muskrat is. But improved muskrat basically means um, two back springs, spacer in between. Hawbaker Special means it has a sheep foot blade added in, in place of one of the, uh, the uh, California clip blades. Now, to add a little bit of confusion, this is a, a current case pattern for the uh, for the muskrat. This is actually a bird knife, though, because, uh, like I said, I just don't collect muskrats, so I don't have a whole lot of them. But this is the same frame that Case uses for its muskrat knife. In the front, you have the bird blade. I'm sorry, the uh, California clip blade. On the back side, you have the bird hook. But if you notice, there's no spacer in between. It's just an open gap. However, if you look at the back, you can clearly see that there are two back springs. So each blade is working on a separate spring. It's just there's no spacer in between. By doing that, Case has made the knife a little slimmer and uh, a little lighter. So that's why they do that with their muskrats. Other people also do the same thing. So, uh, that's another difference that you'll see in uh, modern muskrats, but in general, almost every muskrat you'll find today will have two California clips operating on two separate springs. Sometimes there will be a spacer in between. They're all just called a muskrat today. This is a muskrat. This is a muskrat. This is a, well, this is a bird knife, but it could have been a muskrat. And even this little one back here is a muskrat, even though it's a little small. This is only three and a half inches. They're all just called a muskrat today, but they're basically the same design as what used to be known as an improved muskrat. Basically, everyone made the improvement, so everyone has an improved muskrat today, and it's just called a muskrat. Um, but I hope that helps a little bit. And uh, anyone who knows more about muskrats, I would love to hear from you. Uh, especially the thing with uh, why it became an improved. I'm almost 99% sure it was the Stanley Hawbaker thing and his adding a second spring to the knife, though. And the Hawbaker Special is the one that has the uh, sheep foot blade. And now I'm rambling, so I'm just going to leave it where it is. Okay, following is just a very short slideshow of uh, the knives that were shown in this uh, video. First up is the Rough Rider Muskrat uh, in their Stoneworks line. Uh, standard size muskrat uh, featuring 440A stainless steel blades. The knife is uh, very well made, very well finished, and uh, as most Rough Rider knives, it is made in China. Next, we have the Schrade Improved Muskrat. Uh, this is made in the United States. It was made back in the 1940s or 50s. I'm not exactly sure when. And like I mentioned, this is the Improved Muskrat. This is the first one that had the uh, two springs with the uh, full spacer in between. Uh, this one featured uh, carbon steel blades and a uh, carbon steel back springs, but brass pins and liners. Next is a Hawbaker Special. Now this is actually a copy of one. It's made by uh, Rough Rider, and they actually refer to it as an improved muskrat in their packaging. But as you can tell from the sheep foot blade and the uh, 
and the uh, muskrat blade. This is what uh, Hawbaker designed as his Hawbaker Special. And it is 3 and 7 eighths inches like a standard muskrat. And uh, again, it's a Rough Rider knife, so it is made in China, but it is very well finished uh, and a very solid knife. Next up, we have the Case Bird Knife. Now, this is built on their uh, muskrat frame. And uh, Case actually uses this frame for a variety of knives, including a Stockman. But you see here the, uh, the muskrat blade and the bird hook. And uh, as I mentioned in the video, there is no spacer in between this, even though each blade is working on its own spring. Um, as this is a Case knife, it uses the True Sharp Steel. Uh, and it is an extremely well-made knife, and it is made in the United States. I think it's also important to talk about Samuel Stanley Hawbaker, better known as S. Stanley Hawbaker. Hawbaker was a world-renowned outdoorsman and fur trapper, and uh, also a prolific author, writing several books on trapping and other outdoor activities. He also had his own uh, mail order business. And in his mail order business, he obviously sold uh, all sorts of trapping gear, including knives. And one of the knives that he sold in there were muskrat knives. It's uncertain if uh, Stanley Hawbaker actually designed the improved muskrat, but the improved muskrat first appeared in his mail order catalogs. Um, and so he did have some say in uh, the knives, and he is the one who recommended these knives through his uh, sales. And I believe the first company to uh, introduce the improved muskrat was Schrade. It was followed by several other companies. And uh, originally, these knives were sold exclusively through uh, Stanley Hawbaker's mail order business. And these were the knives that featured the uh, double back springs with the spacer in between. Following up on the success of the improved muskrat, um, Hawbaker later uh, introduced the Hawbaker Special in his mail order catalogs. It's uncertain, again, if he actually uh, designed the knife or if someone else designed it, and then he put his name on it to uh, uh, increase sales through his uh, business. In either case, um, his name has always been identified with this knife, and uh, he was the one who made this knife very popular and very successful when it came to sales. So... Uh, that's what we know about uh, S. Stanley Hawbaker. He was not only a great fur trapper, but he was also great at promoting uh, knives. And so you can thank him for the Hawbaker Special and the Improved Muskrat simply because they were sold almost exclusively through his uh, mail order catalog when they first came out. And that's why the knives were so popular. So I hope that clarifies a few things about S. Stanley Hawbaker and his role in the uh, muskrat knife. Uh, whether or not he actually designed the improved muskrat and the Hawbaker special almost becomes a moot point. It was because of Hawbaker that the knives became the success they were, and it is also because of Hawbaker that the improved muskrat became the standard muskrat. Thanks for watching. As always, thanks for dropping by, and remember, you're only as sharp as your knife.